Today, I wanted to highlight a free application in the Google Play Store that shows you if your smartphone or tablet supports Android's dynamic partition system. This is often referred to by many other things, things including seamless updates, dual partitions, and the A-B partition system. This feature has evolved over the years and had only initially included seamless updates thanks to the dual partition setup. But over time, Google has improved it to also be called dynamic partitions. This allows the device to use a super partition along with multiple sub partitions that can be sized dynamically over time. The major benefit here is that it no longer requires individual partition images to leave empty space for future over-the-air updates, which allows for the operating system to reserve less storage space for updates and giving you more space compared to the first iteration of the feature. I really wanted to highlight this application because the dual partition system is required for a device to support DSU Loader, which is a nice little feature packed into Android 11 and higher that allows you to test custom ROMs based on Android's generic system images, aka GSI ROMs. So the free application that you can install from the Google Play Store is called Treble Check. This can be found by searching for it in the Play Store, but I will also be including a link in the video description below for those who would like a direct way to the app. Once the application has been installed, all you need to do is open it up, and the second card here will clearly tell you if your device supports seamless system updates or not. And again, this is the same as the dual partition system, the A slash B partitions, and more recently, also means support for Android's dynamic partitions. If your smartphone or tablet does support this, then it means that over-the-air updates can be installed in the background while you continue to use your device. This is because the new update is actually being installed to that second partition and that it doesn't need to have access to the current partition that you're actively using. Sadly, not all modern Android devices support this feature. I have the Galaxy S23 here and none of the devices in this series support seamless system updates. So while some OEMs have transitioned to this setup, even for their entry-level devices, Samsung has yet to commit to this feature with their Galaxy S smartphones and tablets. As of right now, Google does not require OEMs to adopt this feature, but that could change in the future. So if this application tells you that your device does support seamless updates, then I recommend that you enable developer mode and look for a feature called DSU Loader. I will be covering this feature in a new video soon, but it essentially lets you temporarily boot a GSI ROM directly from Google without unlocking the bootloader, and it doesn't require you to have root access either. I would like to create some more content about GSI ROMs here on the channel soon. So if that's something that you would be interested in, then let me know down in the comments section below.